Thank you. So, your thoughts for the key attributes that you think are going to be working in favor of this? Well, as uh, we were explaining in our presentation, so we are following the uh, Nexa philosophy of crafted futurism, which consists of three things. Next pressure, which is the design aspect of it. Next tech, or no, technology perspective, and also experience, overall giving a very good experience to the customer. All of that has been inbuilt into this vehicle, starting from uh, the way it looks. Uh, so conceptually, it uh, looking like a SUV, but giving the comfort of a MPV. Incorporating cutting edge technology like uh, you know uh, the two liter uh, intelligent smart hybrid technology, uh, which is a self charging technology, giving very good fuel efficiency. Going inside, giving a very good uh, ambience in terms of the color and the overall scheme. The 10.1 inch uh, infotainment system, the connected features, the Alexa, uh, you know, enabled uh, 30 plus voice commands, uh, uh, eight, eight way movement of the seat motorized for the driver, ventilated seats, second row, very comfortable. You can flip and you can slide it for easy ingress to the uh, third row. So, uh, overall, giving a very comfort and from a ride perspective also great in terms of uh, you know when you drive it i'm sure when you have the experience you'll, you'll be able to realize what i'm talking that it's built for indian roads so uh, uh for comfort and convenience also we have things like you know power door uh, back door lifts which is again a first for maruti suzuki so many such features have been incorporated into the vehicle uh, for uh, the comfort and for this kind of customer which is an evolving customer, aspirational customer. Uh, so uh, this is the Invecto in short for you. It's launched at a very aggressive price point. Yeah. So what should localization level of this car? Localization, is, uh, this is built by Toyota. Uh, the, the, some of the elements are designed by Suzuki. So uh, it's, uh, you know, fully, uh, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, sourced and uh, built by Toyota. So I won't have the number because we buy it as a CBO from them. Right. Yeah. And talking about the key element of this vehicle, that is the strong hybrid system. You know, not just this, but we've offered that in the Grand Vitara as well. Yeah. So talking about the Indian markets, so what has been the feedback from the customer? You know, what do you think has been the uptake of this technology, which is sort of very new to the Indian market? It's slowly catching up. People are realizing that they're a benefit of this as they use it. And uh, it, you know, uh, the uh, what you are paying per kilometer, uh, you know, on a, on a daily basis determines today, uh, you know, the benefit for the customer. And those discerning customers uh, who are wanting to have economy built into their, you know, daily, uh, you know, uh, commute, and also people who are looking at a reduction of the carbon footprint or looking at sustainable technologies, those are the people who are actually, you know, today moving towards this and definitely from a you know in a, if you drive in a city which is the most usage of any vehicle it works uh, almost 40% uh, on EV mode so uh, all that comfort and convenience is there for the customer yeah this is quite a new technology even for yeah. so is there a learning curve to it are there some safety problems that we deal with nothing at all it's a well established technology we have absolutely no issues on this uh, and uh, you can see today that in a Grand Vitara, it's almost 11% of penetration. And then the Invicto is 100% uh, intelligent hybrid only. And we don't have a naturally aspirated version or any other alternate technology also. Yeah. So then do you believe that this is the ultimate way towards full electrification? Definitely. As you could have seen in our presentation, our uh, you know initiative to move towards uh, carbon reduction. Uh, so we are looking at very many technologies. We are looking at flex fuel, CNG, uh, we are looking at uh, CBG, we are looking at hybrid technology, we are looking at electrification. So in 2030, we are kind of looking at 15% electric, electric, electrified vehicles, 25% hybrid, and the rest will be alternate fuels. You talk about alternate fuels, so we have already seen E20 getting rolled out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting with various you know, markets. Yeah. But you know, there's there's a lot of uh, concern with existing owners of their, you know, non-E20 compliant vehicles that what yeah. happens to my car. Yeah. So any, any guidance on that, you know, how should people... Well, uh, 
definitely i think there is a you know a, a little bit of uh, uh, apprehension amongst uh, customers i would say uh, because uh, the e20 as a fuel if it is used in the rubber parts there is a possibility of erosion in the long term you know? uh, immediately you will not find it uh, so uh, studies are being done along with the government and the test agencies to test older vehicles with e20 fuel and see what is the deterioration and what kind of cha challenges are there uh, especially in the small cc vehicles like two wheelers the mm. challenge is much higher because of the you know they uh, uh, there would be a power drop and there would be a feeling of uh, acceleration feel will also go down which will be easily uh, uh, you know uh, perceptible to the customer so i think those challenges are something which we, you know the auto industry uh, the cm is working with the government and with the test agencies and uh, there are two alternatives either have parallel dispensing of e10 fuel mm -hmm. till end of life or you know we find uh, some other solution uh, for the customer so that's something is you know work in progress so should you another subject to the safety and you know like you mentioned this you are buying a cpu from toyota and toyota does offer this with adas in the top end version but you chose to not offer that yes any specific reason for it well uh, uh, we are looking at the value proposition uh, for the for the product uh, you know and for the customer and today uh, you know it is possible to give uh, add as uh, in our vehicles however uh, uh, the functionality some many of the functionalities cannot be used in the city some functionalities can be used in the highway and the, the value proposition of that and the usage for the customer is a uh, something which we are you know studying today and we are doing extensive testing in india on adas features and we will see what kind of adas roadmap we need to build and also look at and also uh, discuss with uh, the industry, the test agencies and uh, you know try to make some kind of a, a roadmap uh, on uh, functionalities of adas which should be relevant for india which should give benefit in terms of reducing accidents or you know uh, you know giving some kind of a Uh, uh, avoidance of accidents, and that kind of a direction is what we are, you know, studying and looking at. Definitely, a map will be made. So we don't expect ADAS from Maruti. We are studying it, and it may come. Uh, you know, uh, you know, it's it's not that technology is not available. Right. Technology is available. It's there. It's the merit of the technology and the value proposition to the customer. That's all that we are looking at. Yeah. The last comments on the Bharat. Yeah. 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 So your thoughts about you know whether we are finally going to see. But definitely about. we welcome uh, Bharat and Kavan. We have been uh, talking about this for quite some time. Now the draft notification has come out again. The authority has been now been specified. The protocol has also been draft has come out. So I think uh, we need to you know uh, uh, we need to discuss again uh, the modalities, methodologies, and all of that. Uh, so that you know, once that uh, discussion has happened, obviously I think the auto industry is uh, uh, is uh, going to imbibe that. It's a voluntary system at this point of time, uh, and uh, as as a, as any NCAP or world over, which is a voluntary, and uh, uh, it it is a it's a a very logical way uh, to give uh, explanation to the customer about the level of safety of a vehicle. Uh, and it's a considered choice made by customer, and, and then also it can be used like today also uh, by automakers for uh, emphasizing their safety quotient on their vehicle. Right. Yeah, that's a it's a normal practice. So definitely, uh, we are going to follow what is happening in the developed world in Europe and Japan. Right. Right. Kamal, thank you so much. Thank for you so much. Thanks a lot.